Hey you guys, um, today I am sick, so I might not be too chatty, but I still wanted to come on here and film and do some makeup, um, because that always cheers me up, makes me feel a little bit better when I'm feeling down. Not feeling down, I'm just sick, so, anyway, today I'm going to do a mostly full face of Too Faced. I don't have any Too Faced brow products, so I've already done my brows, um, but I think pretty much everything else should be Too Faced. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It doesn't have a shade or anything. So yeah, I'm just going to do that now. Okay, I'm just mixing it up because it is quite oily. Oh, pops up. Open my eyes like that and then just blend it in with a sponge. I'm really sorry if you guys can hear the wind, by the way. It's super windy today. So that's on now. So I have a few Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. The first one I have is the Totally Cute, which looks oh, looks like this. Um, and then I have the Too Faced Life's a Festival palette, which looks like this. And then the last one I have is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes, which looks like this. I think I'm going to first go into this palette, the Just Peachy Mattes. The very first colour I'm going to take is this one here called Peach Punch. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in the crease. This is a really pretty colour. Okay, so the next colour I'm going to go into is the, the one next to that. And it's called Just Peachy. And I'm just going to use this to blend out the edge of what we have here. This palette smells so good, by the way. Now I'm going to go into this like really dark purple down the bottom and it's called Peach Sangria. I'm just going to take that on a smaller brush actually and just put that in the outer part of my eye and then blend it with my other brush. These are all blending really nicely into each other. Now I'm going to go into this Too Faced, what's it called, Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. Mine is in the shade Guava Glitz and I'm going to use this to do like a cut creasey thing. It's a super easy to use. It's a really pretty colour too. Okay, I think that looks really cute happy with that okay um i have my benefit tinted mascara primer so i'm just gonna do that off camera and then i'll come back to use my Too faced mascara okay so now i'm going to go in with my Too faced better than sex mascara i will be using lashes today i don't think Too faced make lashes do they but anyway i don't have any of their lashes so again i'll do those off camera but here's how my lashes look with just mascara Look pretty. So I'm just going to do my lashes off camera and then I will be back. Okay, so my lashes are on now. I just used the Holy Grail Cosmetics Fairy Lashes. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to take my Too Faced Hangover Primer. For foundation today, I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Mine is in the shade Porcelain, which is... It's not porcelain, let me tell you that. In what world is this porcelain? It's looking very nice over that primer though. Yeah, I think this is looking really quite nice. I do quite like my Born This Way foundation. And I think it gets along really well with that, um, with the primer as well. I do know some people who reckon that their Too Faced is quite flaky. So I feel like um, this would go best with a hydrating primer. And obviously the Too Faced um, Hangover Primer is a really hydrating, moisturizing primer, which I reckon is why they're combining so well. But yeah, that's how the base is looking. It looks really pretty, really like that. Okay, so for 
concealer today. I'm going to take the new Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting concealer. It's not really new anymore, but it's new to me. I picked this up while I was in Brisbane and I used it for the first time last night. So it took me two months to use it. It wasn't even last night, it was the last time I did my makeup, which was a couple of days ago. Oh, mine is in the shade Swan, by the way, which I reckon would be a much better foundation shade for me so when i run out of my Too Faced Born This Way foundation i might have to pick pick it up in a different shade a lighter one now i'm going to go into my Too Faced Born This Way ethereal setting powder in translucent i love this stuff so much i haven't used it for the longest time um, and i'm just going to use that to bake under my eyes And I'm just also going to bake my jawline. I don't have any contour from Too Faced. So this will just help kind of define my jawline, my non-contour non jawline. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Too Faced Peach Blur. You have to be quite like light-handed when using this. Actually, it probably honestly does not matter too much today because I have a bit of a darker foundation. But usually when using my normal foundations, I have to be quite light-handed because this can turn my face pink. But that's only because I am so pale and it does have a pink tinge to it. I really like the way that this makes the skin look though. It does have a very blurring effect. So I'm just going to let my bake sit for a little while and then I will wipe it away. Okay, so I've just wiped my bake off. So before I do anything else, I'm just going to go back into my Just Peachy Mattes palette. Um, and I think I'm going to take the colour called... I think I might take Peach Cobbler, this one down here. It's just like a bit of a burnt orange kind of colour. And I'm just going to run that under my eye if I can find a, a clean brush. Oh, that's really pretty. And then I'm just going to go back in with my Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay, I think that looks really nice. I really like this eye look. It's so simple, but it's so pretty. Now I'm going to go into my Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I absolutely love this. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is go into this shade here. And it's called Sun Honey. And I'm just going to use this shade to bronze. This palette smells amazing as well. It's so, so good. I highly recommend picking up this palette. It's just, it's got the most beautiful highlighters. So it's got two blush shades. And it's also got the two bronzers. And they're just all such beautiful colours. It's 64 Australian dollars, but you divide that by six. Let me get my calculator because I can't work that out. It's like 10 bucks, or $10 something for each pan pretty much, which I think is a pretty good deal. But yeah, I just love this palette so much. I'm not even sure if it's still like around or if it was limited edition, but if it is, I do recommend it. Can't remember, I got mine. I think I got, I don't even know when I got mine actually. I know it was from Mecca obviously, but yeah, I don't know. It was a while ago though, sometime last year. And just taking the same brush, I'm going to go into the blush, I know weird, this one here down the bottom, it's called Pink Sand. I'm just gonna take a bit of that and give myself a little bit of a pink flush. This is honestly the most beautiful blush color ever. I don't usually wear blush, you guys know this, but it's honestly so pretty. I'm going to mix this really well with that bronze colour we just used. Just wipe everything off my brush now and just use it to blend all around. I don't know what highlight I want to use today. There's two really beautiful ones in the palette and then there's also this Too Faced Rainbow one. I think I might miss this one today. Um, it's really pretty, but... Like, I'm looking for something a bit more glowy. And then I also have the Diamond Light one by Too Faced, which is super pretty as well. But I think what I'm going to do is go for the shade Satin Sheets in this palette. It's just, it's too pretty. I can't, I can't resist. Oh my god, look at it. It's 
such a cool colour. It's so unique as well. I love it. It's so pretty. It's very yellow toned. I like that it's so glowy. This eyebrow is annoying me so much today. Like it just looks so terrible compared to that one. Like it's like hello. Oh. <laughs> it's just I really need to go get them waxed because this one is just I'm not having it. I'm not having it with her. Okay. That's how my skin is looking. So I do have this Too Faced Festival Refresh Spray. It's got like a glowy stuff in it. I guess we'll use it anyway. I'm just gonna spritz my face. It smells like orange. It's quite nice actually. Okay. And for lips, I'm going to take this Too Faced lipstick, and this one is in the shade of Birthday Suit. It's this really pretty nude. Okay, let me do my hair off camera and then I will be back. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I really am happy with how this looks. I think it looks really nice. I really like the eyes. I think they're just so pretty but so simple. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm definitely going to do some more Full Face of One brand videos. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I had a lot of fun creating it and it's definitely made me feel a little bit better. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.